Hello everyone, now that we've got our 450 frames of high resolution object animation rendered out, it's time to put them to use. So right here is where I've got my Blender animation project folder. You can see some Blender files, uh, the snapshot that I took and turned in, and two DAEs, one that was a problem and one that's not. I've now created another folder inside that says Blender animation premiere project. And inside of here, I've got a project. Let me get rid of that because I'm going to start a new one. You should have a green screen footage, uh, some sort of background taken from the library on Hicks Data Tech, and then your folder filled with all of those high quality images. Let's go ahead and start Adobe Premiere. If it's not on that list, just type PR. After this point, you would, of course, double click on that project file you just saw me delete and just open up the project that way. So let's start off with our new project by browsing to the Blender Animation Project folder, Premiere Project subfolder. Let's give it a good name here, 170307. Blender Animation Video Project. Now what we're going to need to do right at the beginning is to change the way that Adobe Premiere deals with imported images. You go to Edit Preferences under General, the very first option there, and you can see that the still image default duration is 5 seconds. But We're going to deal with images very, very differently, and we want each one to be one frame in length. Now the funny thing is that we have to insist on this. We have to go back and say it a second time and say not two frames, one frame for each image. Then we can import that folder filled with pictures. So File, Import, and right here where I've got that high resolution set, I'm going to import that entire folder. So each one of those images is one frame in length, 450 pictures means 15 seconds of video. I'm going to open up that folder in the asset box and choose the first picture. And I'm actually going to use the image to make the sequence. So the sequence is exactly the right size. If you right click on it, you can say make a new sequence from the clip. As soon as I do that, I get my 0001 sequence with one picture on it, just one. Now it's inside the folder and it's not a good name. So the first thing I'm going to do is rename this to Blender Object. And I'm going to get it out of this folder. That's a tough place to find it later on. So I'm going to right click and cut. Close the folder and right click and paste. So now we have a sequence with just one picture on it. I can actually highlight and delete that picture so that's completely empty and then take the entire folder filled with pictures and drag it to the very beginning of the video one track. Now if I press play I can actually see my video of the object spinning. It's very hard to deal with 450 individual images which is why we have them in a sequence. Now it's time to make our master sequence. File, New, sequence and this master sequence is going to be from the AVC HD variety and we're working with 1080p 30 frames per second. Please make sure your master is this particular setting so that everything will fit together properly. Now I made a mistake here and I accidentally made that new sequence inside Oh, and it didn't give me a chance to name it master either because I have a low resolution going. Let me just drag down to the bottom here and fix that. So I'm going to rename this one master. I'm going to right click on it and cut and then close that folder filled with images because it is a lot to handle. Control V paste and I have my master sequence right here. So we are going to end up putting the Blender object up here on the video 3 track so that we can do things to it like scale it down and move it and do all sorts of stuff and it treats it as one single piece of video. 
And we're going to need a couple of other pieces of video, as I've shown you. Here, let me move that over. Oh, that's very interesting. Right click and ripple delete. That made it move over. So let's go get those other two pieces of footage. I'm going to go back to my Blender animation project folder. Here I've got Lonnie and I've got some ocean waves. So I'm going to open those up and I'm going to start off with Lonnie on the video 2 track. So there's Lonnie and there's the object. So let's do some fixing up here. First I'm going to hide the object and say hello to Lonnie and make some changes. First, he's sideways. That's the way we filmed. So I'm going to rotate him minus 90 degrees. Naturally, you can type in minus 90 and it's much easier. I'm also going to position him uh, over to the right so that I have nothing but green screen over on the right hand side and I have a little bit over here on the left that I need to get rid of. So one of the things I can do with effects is a very simple one called crop. And I'm going to drag this effect and drop it on Lonnie so that I can then scroll down and make adjustments to the left, top, right, and bottom. Now, I can do from here, but that's not, that's the left, but it's actually the bottom of our footage. So this is where we're going to crop over to the right, just enough to get rid of that. Now I know he doesn't actually move his hands uh, above his head, so I can actually crop that part off and then do a quick scan through and make sure Lonnie doesn't leave that. You can see how he gets a little bit close to the edge there, but I think I'm ready to do another effect on him. So we cropped him. Now we're going to level him. Leveling is something that we do to all digital media almost as a matter of course because everything can be improved by making the blacks a little blacker and the whites a little whiter. We do that just with this histogram. So we can bring this point in, that's the black point. If you go too far you can kind of see what we're doing. We're just going to make the blacks a little blacker and the whites a little whiter and I often will just take this in the middle and then just find where I think it looks good. So did it help? Well I can turn the effect on and off and it does brighten up the green a little bit there. So next we're going to get rid of that green. So let's do that. We're going to do that with something called a key and there are many different kinds of keys that will delete things for you. I'm going to try this ultra key. It seems to be working pretty nice even though he has a green shirt on. We should be able to use the ultra key settings here to get rid of this green. I tend to go with the darker part. If you go up here, uh, you might end up with a little bit extra. In fact, I can see a little bit of the white there. To get a better view of it, instead of the output being the composite of the deleted green in the original footage, we can change it to alpha channel and really see what's being gotten rid of. So I'm going to actually select this slightly darker Try and find an in-between green so there's very little that's left behind. The matte generation has a few different settings there. The matte cleanup, but I think if we just go with this setting here where we're a little more aggressive with our green screening, we can actually see that pretty much all the green is gone. So we can get into more of that later. Uh, here we can see Lonnie and we can also see the object. So let's do one more thing and that is put our footage on the very bottom track. So the video one track here wanted to be at the very beginning and we now see Lonnie there by the ocean. So there he is doing his animation. Uh, let me bring that over some more. So here he is. He pushes it forward. and then brings it hand back down. So there's a couple things we can do. We could take Lonnie and maybe move him a little further over to the right or he could be, oh, well, yeah, we don't want to bring him over too far. We got a little bit we could crop off of that side. We'll just do that for this lesson and now it's time to keyframe the object. So I will save that for the second part of the lesson but we are all ready to go now with all the pieces in place. We just need to scale this down and put it in the right spot.